हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ टूल स्टील सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स बिगिन फ्रेंड्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी एट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ टूल स्टील फर्स्ट इज हियर कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ओके कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ओके here friends compressive strength should be high for tool steels okay and tool steels which are we are used for hot die should have hot strength that is friends hot strength that is strength at high temperature okay strength at high temperature okay here and next uh, property is uh, non deforming properties non deforming properties okay here friends as we know steels expand or and contract during heating and quenching it causes the uh, ch change in dimension of the steel okay so here friends a tool steel should have non deform good non deforming properties because of this friends it can be machined to very close dimensions or size before heat treatment because of good uh, non deforming properties tool steel can be machined to very close size before heat treatment heat treatment okay now next is friends third property is depth of hardening depth of hardening okay here friends depth of hardening is related to hardenability hardenability and here friends hardenability of the steel is depends on alloying elements it increases hardenability increases with increasing alloying content okay and here friends one important thing is uh, when we use cobalt as alloying element it decreases the hardenability ability okay hardenability okay now here friends fourth one is fourth property is here we are going to see is toughness toughness okay here friends tool tool should have great toughness to resist the breaking during working it should have good toughness to resist breaking during working working okay okay and here friends most tools must be rigid articles and usually even slight plastic deformation causes tool unfit for use if here friends see if there is a slight deformation slight deformation deformation it causes unfit for use okay so it should have good toughness okay next is fifth property is here we are going to see now fifth property is wear resistance wear resistance okay here friends tool steel should have good wear resistance good wear resistance it is because friends it should resist the abrasion and loss of dimensional tolerance so here friends it offers resistance if the if tool steel is wear resistance it offers resistance to abrasion abrasion and you can say resistance to loss of dimensional tolerance dimensional tolerance tolerance uh, tolerance okay now sixth is here friends sixth property is red hardness red hardness okay red hardness friends also called as hot hardness okay 
out hardness and here friends uh, this uh, uh, red hardness is related to resistance of steel to the softening effect of steel okay here friends uh, it offers uh, resistance or uh, resistance res resistance to softening effect softening effect of heat okay and here friends uh, it is this red hardness is required for the for tools which are working in temperatures uh, ex, uh, temperature exceeds uh, 450 degree the tools which are used or working in the temperature which are greater than 450 degree celsius so rare hardness is required when tool steel is working in temperature that is working temperature of tool exceeds 450 degree celsius okay now uh, seventh one is here seventh is machinability machinability okay here friends uh, machinability is the ability of the material uh, material to cut freely and produce good finish after being machined okay so here friends tool steel should have good machinability machinability so that it can be shaped according to the requirement of the tool okay so here friends machinability of tool steel is affected by hardness property okay it is affected by hardness property and machinability and general workability of tool steel decreases with increasing carbon and alloying elements okay here friends so okay so good machinability is required here to have good finish and produce and uh, produce as per requirement and okay and here friends um, it decreases machinability is decreases with uh, increasing carbon content and alloying elements now here friends at one eighth is decarburization decarburization its property is decarburization decarburization it occurs when steels are heated above 700 degrees celsius okay celsius temperature okay and it can be avoided and it is it can be avoided by controlled or protective atmosphere protective you can say protective is better word protective atmosphere okay decarburization losses some of the surface carbon and they will result in softening of surface rather than hard surface after hardening okay friends this decarburization losses surface carbon surface carbon carbon and it causes softening effect softening of tool steel steel okay rather than hardening hard surface after hardening okay so here friends in this video we have seen the properties of tool steels thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you